When it comes to coolant, there are four major issues, and in this episode, we are going to talk about the itis, otherwise known <laughs> as skin condition, otherwise known as dermatitis. Dermatitis. <laughs> So let's talk about dermatitis, John. On the basics, it is skin irritation. It can be rashes, it can be itchiness, it could be a whole bunch of different things. Uh, people often blame the coolant for dermatitis, which sometimes it can be, but a lot of times it's all about how we maintain our coolant. And how do we resolve this? If it doesn't always come from coolant, but we're focused on coolant today, where do we fix this issue so we don't run around with the itis and try and get everyone else <laughs> contagious. <laughs> and the good news is it's really not contagious, but mentally sometimes it is. So the easiest thing you could do is maintain your coolant concentration. Believe it or not, having the right concentration is the easiest way to take care of the itis. And just think of it this way. If you're supposed to run your coolant at 10% concentration, but you're running it at 20% concentration, you have double the amount of chemical coming in contact with your skin. And so bringing it back down to where you're supposed to run it will help get rid of the problem. That's the most common. And sometimes you have tramp oil and you don't clean it off, that big black scummy layer that forms on top of your sump. We've all seen that. We hate that. Should get cleaned off on a regular basis. If we don't, that gets mixed into your coolant and then it's all over your skin and that oil can sometimes cause dermatitis or irritation. So per your recommendation, reduce the concentration, take a shower. Take a shower, definitely. We like to recommend to people, every time you leave your machine, wash wherever the coolant splashes. Wash your arms, wash your hands. If it happens to splash on your face, wash your face. So wash every time you leave your machine, heading in to go talk to the production manager, heading off to the restroom or the break room. Wash your hands with soft soap. Don't use that granular stuff because that tears up your skin and just makes your skin a little bit more sensitive. Great advice. Guys, here you have it. This is another one of four of the major issues that come with coolant and also how you can remedy it with my buddy John here. John, thank you again. Thanks, Tony.